Welcome to today's episode of Youth of West Africa. I'm Chidima Akanyo and today we are in First Act, Lagos, Nigeria. Very soon you'll be speaking to the CEO of Cedar Beats, Adesua Placida. Stay tuned to listen to her story. My name is Placida Adesua. I based in Lagos. I make beads. I train people on how to make beads. I sell as well. I've been running the business for four years. I started way back 2013. I was inspired to start this business when um, after my NYSE, I started searching for job and job was not coming forth. So I had to keep myself busy, do something good, I'll bring forth money. So um, I started seeing pictures of beads online and that was why I picked up the interest. I went for the training and this is me. Starting up this business wasn't easy. I faced challenges like um, raising funds for the business, um, getting customers to buy to buy your beads, advertising to people to tell them this is what I do, come and patronize me. Yes, it wasn't easy. I got the funds to start up this business through my in-law. That's my eldest star's husband. He saw the zeal in me to do this business and he invested in me. Yeah, he gave me the money to start up. He's always there encouraging me to push it, push it. Because he's um, into business, he does business. So he he actually pushed me to start up this business, to, to go for the training. When I was home doing nothing, he pushed me and said, um, these days there are no jobs that I should um, go learn something I know I love so much that I could um, make money from and also enjoy doing it. So that was when I thought of making beads and I went for it. With the reception, it's not been easy. It's not been easy because, um, okay, one, the prices of um, materials increased in the market. Like my old clients, I have to, they are aware of what's happening in the country, but I still have to do some more explanations. Like, um, for example, they, they formally they buy, let me assume they buy a bid 5,000 Naira. But when they come for it now, I charge like say 8,000 Naira. And they, they will be like, um, why is it this expensive? Materials in the market are expensive. So expensive. It has affected a whole lot that um, you must be buoyant enough to buy beads. A hungry man cannot think of wearing, um, going to buy necklace to wear. So it's not been easy for me. I faced challenges in the course of my business. Like um, there was a time last year, things were so bad. Customers were not coming. Um, even the students I trained, they were not coming that much. I mean, I could remember there was a time I had about four. I'm um, sorry, about ten students I was teaching. But last year was so so bad. I sit in the office. I make lots of beads. I just use my time to make lots of beads. If I'm not selling at the moment, I could always sell later. Beads don't get spoiled. So that was the only way I could overcome. But at that time, I tell you, I felt so down, so frustrated. In fact, some, some days I wake up and I don't feel like coming to the shop. I just want to sit at home all day doing nothing, waiting for a client to call to say, yes, I want this, I want that. But we thank God, um, so good so far, this is me, I've been pushing it. I was able to come out from it by, um, like I said earlier, I was making beads and um, I used my spare time to make beads, whether they are being ordered or not. I just um, make, then as God will have it, um, December last year, clients say coming back, you know, December is time for weddings here in Nigeria. People started coming and that was what pushed me. When I saw people coming, the money started coming in again. Not so much though, a little. So that was when I picked again. If I have to go back to times when I just started this business, um, compared to now, yes, what I'll do is, um, after learning, I stayed home for a long time. Like, the confidence was not 
so there. If I had known this business, this business would take me this far. I would have started like immediately. I would have waited for a little push from maybe somebody, friends, relative or something. My name is Chine Enye and I'm an ex student of CEDARS. I trained with her after my graduation from the university. So at the time I was looking for something to do. I was actually looking for a job. Yes. But um, I didn't see a particular job that I really wanted. And then my mom um, said I should look for something to do. Either I should um, learn a trade. And um, she actually told me to come and learn here. I didn't know I would have, I would actually love it. But really, I did eventually, surprisingly. So exactly that is that is it. Now that I'm done learning, I intend I intend setting my own business. I've actually started making bits for people. Even while training, actually, I was making bits for people. She always advises us to ad, um, advertise our works and all that. So she even tells you that. As you're training, you can also be making money, you can also be selling. So while I was training, I was, um, based on the advice she gave to us as at the time, um, the money I was getting, I was using it to buy more materials because um, just paying for your training fee is not enough. You need to buy materials, you need to buy beads to learn a particular design and all that. So, um, yes, I am going to set up my own business. What scares me when it comes to setting up my business is um, not getting clients, really, because I've watched Sida stay here and then she's she's very hardworking, though. She's ah, she's very consistent and all that. So um, the way she actually markets her bids and all that, I keep asking myself, can I do this? So basically, what scares me is actually not getting clients. Not that I am not good enough. I learned from a very amazing lady. Her beads are perfect and she's an excellent teacher. So it does not scare me that I wouldn't make um, um, very nice things that people would like. But just what scares me is just not getting enough clients. So I advise young people they should be confident in themselves. Know what you're good in. There's so many crafts out there. Aside beads making, there are so many other things. Yours must not be making beats just do whatever you're good in doing social media has helped me become more popular um this is me when i just started i was just see that beats you know but now with the help of social media i've not gotten there yet though but um i think i'm a bit popular my advice to youths of west africa is um, be yourself be confident know what you're good in doing, pursue whatever you have the zeal in doing, it could be beat making, could be catering, whatever, just be, be confident in yourself that yes, if this person is making it, you too can make it. So that was Placida Adesua of Cedar Beats in Festa, Lagos, Nigeria. I hope you learned something from her story. I was personally very inspired by some of the things she said. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time on YouTube West Africa. Till then, bye.